When I step oh, into the secret laboratory, I throw a Hadouken. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Green Donut. Oh, my you got him. Oh, you got him. Oh, you got him. Oh, you got 47 assists. He yeah, actually yeah. got 48 assists, man. Can someone bring me a bucket? I'm gonna hurl. <laughs> no, no, I have to finish it. I've come so far. You threw that bomb? No, I didn't, but I just wanted to shoot stuff so that I could get the credit for killing him, because I'm a jerk. Gauntlet is actually available for pre-order now from GameStop, which you can get some pretty sweet exclusives. You know, somebody in the uh, chat actually said that I sounded like Kermit the Frog in puberty. And I just gotta tell you, Go screw yourself. <laughs> was that close? That wasn't close. That was not too bad. This is called keeping it real. I'm up here before Marvel vs. Capcom 3 comes out to play these guys and let them know who runs the show. That's what he says. <laughs> If you're familiar with Marvel vs. Capcom 2, you'll know what's going on in Marvel vs. Capcom 3. I mean, there's a few changes here and there, some new additions, but the definite feel of how to play, how, how things roll together is definitely there. So almost all the characters, their moves are either fireballs, shoryukens, hurricane kicks, or yoga flames. New to the series is what we call the aerial team combo. If you hit a direction button plus the uh, launcher button, you'll switch out and bring your other guy in. And now you know that, that I can beat all of you guys at this game, right? Out of how many times, though? I was suggesting that basically game scores can be bought. Yeah, no, that's how it goes. That can yes. be bought. No, it game, game scores are bought all the time. Yeah, that's that's, that's standard. Eight million for an eight, eight point five million for an eight five, nine million for a nine point zero. What was the last Halo game to get under a nine? Why do you think that when a game gets finished, they have to lay off a bunch of developers in the studio? It's because they have to get rid of that salary so they can pay us for the score. That's why we shut down the God Hand studio. Right. Yeah. So what happened with the God Hands thing? They should have paid. What about the things that you just? Don't review. You, you just, you what? just. You can't just ignore game product. <laughs> okay, so I'm seeing, I'm seeing the artist here working on um, R2D2. Yep. Making, yep, Astromech Droid. He's surrounded by Transformers. You're trying to tell me that not a single Transformer is slipping into the game. The fiftieth time I've told you it's a Star Wars game. It's like subliminal, though. No, no, nobody's building any Transformers in the game. The game is Star Wars. It's the Clone Wars. We need to have a talk about the toys. We use this slideshow here as sort of like a storyboard for one of our milestones. And we're saying, hey, here's this feature that's going to be in the milestone. Here's this feature that's going to be in the milestone. You keep telling me that the Transformers aren't in this game. Yeah, it's not Transformers, it's Clone Wars. Star Wars, I, I don't, Clone I'm Wars. I'm not believing you because that looks like a Transformer to me. Uh, that, I'm what is you. this? What the f*** is this? What? I'm on lunch break. What the f***? Oh, what was that? That's an assist attack. Look at Chun-Li comes in and out. I didn't mean anything dirty by that one. Oh, God. Oh, look at that. Combos. You gotta, oh, you gotta be God. about it. Oh, God! 40 hits. Feel that in your kidneys. <laughs> oh, oh, no! Oh, oh God! God. Six of me, I did it! No! You got 15 seconds. See, it's anyone's game still. It doesn't matter, like, how many characters you end up with. It's the total amount of health. So, uh-oh. That, was, that wasn't safe. Oh, but you block it. Advanced Guard, that's like in Marvel's Capcom 2. Oh. call it push block, so. Pretty close. Oh! Oh, who wins? Who wins? I don't know. Play oh. <laughs> That was a close one. Play it here! I don't think do you're it. adding anything of value to this. Todd. Can I just do it by myself? Yeah, you don't have to be here. It would be different. He can't fire Can me out myself? of my own interview. It's gonna be better with just me. As a designer, it's my job to make sure that the right features are going in at the right times. It's all about using the heavy hand. Well, Clone Wars Adventures is this awesome game to work on. We've got this great backdrop from the TV show and from Star Wars, and it's just a dream come true. <laughs> Goddamn hand of mats. Maybe they don't like you, but I think that they respect you for it. I don't want to be on your no, show. No, no, don't turn. No, this meeting's this, over. No, this meeting's not over. This is, I want. Todd, turn off. No, no, no. I, I want you to say what you told me 
I want you to tell the camera. I want to document Jess? this. What did Jess say about <laughs> my show? Oh, Jess hates your show. She thinks it sucks. She doesn't even know why IGN's running your show. Where is she now? Is she in the building? Where, where, where uh, is actually, she? I think she's shooting the Daily Fix upstairs. Gotta let us go up there right now and crash the Daily Fix. She's shooting right now, right? Jess isn't going to like that. Yeah, I, I know she's not. I don't like her being up here talking crap about our awesome show. Well, those around comes around. Payback time. You know what? She's been giving me a hard time lately. The crew's going to love it. Um, go for it. Todd, Seriously. I do not want to be in your show, though. So. Leave this part out. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll leave this part out. I'm driving big you fucking around. I'm driving big you fucking around. I'm driving you big you quit fucking around. People will complain sometimes, but I think secretly they appreciate having a heavy hand. Yeah, you know, I think the team would be a lot less demoralized if Matt wasn't so heavy handed. It's all about using the heavy hand. Shadow of Mordor's Nemesis system is something we're really excited about and the reason is that every single playthrough is unique. We see stuff we've never seen before and that's why we're really excited that we're going to get to play with you guys soon on Twin Galaxies Live. <laughs>